Hello and welcome back to some more Hellblades and Noah's Sacrifice. So last time we completed the trials. We are still close to dead, mostly because of I think the second trial, the one with the all of the hulls and it, they just kept fracturing and killing us somehow. Yeah. Anyway, uh yeah, we may have to come back and do this a second time. Or more. Okay, little nightmares. I hate it. Suffering, Senua. Does your precious gift of sight let you see the souls that rot here in this sea of corpses? Do you feel the blood running cold on your skin? Do you hear their endless cries? Do you smell their putrid wounds? They were once brothers, sisters, and loved ones. And look at what you have done to them. All because you were a coward, because you ran from your curse instead of facing it. When you turn your back on your father, Zimmer, you turn your back on the gods and let the darkness wreak havoc on your people. Why must they pay for your heresy?
hear the voice of your mother, Galina? She calls for you, Senoa. Go to her. Answer her pitiful call. Darkness took her life, and it will take yours. It's taking you. Mother! I need you! Help me! You're both you dead. You both surrendered to the loss. And your dear the beloved mother was powerless it. against the darkness when it came for her. She too had a sight. She too doubted the gods and let the darkness infest her. But she didn't run. She escaped the only way she knew how. She gave her life to the gods. If only you had done the same, the world would have been spared this horror. It's not too late. She's calling for you. Why don't you join her? Just a second. I move. reason I cannot dodge like this <laughs> that's what I'm
I can't see. And I, I feel like. Why do you still fight on? Maybe you two could suffer with your brethren in this war to let your blood seep into the. Yeah, I see that, but I can't. Isn't that what you deserve after all you've done? Give the darkness what it wants. Let it swallow your soul and destroy you. you are. Why are you fighting for someone who is already dead? Just look around you. What hope is there for him, even if a soul could be rescued? Down to him, to his friends, to his father. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot. I can't parry that. many of you are there? Jeez Louise. Anyway, I'm supposed to be going to find our mother. something. I mean, we, we saw her, but, like, we didn't go and actually, like, talk to her. We just heard her getting all mad at us from the distance. Am I even going the right way? Maybe the voices could tell me if I'm going the wrong way. been the start. Yeah, so I think I think the game was just kind of it it automatically locks on to an enemy and then you kind of I think maybe you might be able to I think maybe you might be able to switch targets. I think I did that at one point. But you're dead. You both surrendered to the voices. The darkness has taken you. Galena and Senwa. Galena and Senwa. You are lost. There is nothing you can do. You are dead. You are both dead. Mother and daughter dead in the sea of corpses. The voices took her and they'll take you too. The voices have taken her. The voices will take you. Oh. 
can't fight it anymore. Not on my own. Where are you, Mummy? I want to be with you. <laughs> that night, she gave up on her world to follow in the footsteps of her mother. To go to a place where the darkness couldn't reach her. Senua. Look at me. Do you hear them? They're calling for me. We've lost so many. And I've lost my father. I can't lose you. You said it. I have blood on my hands. I didn't say that. You've done nothing wrong. Zimba was right. Everyone will suffer. Zimbal is a fake. He is a hateful, bitter liar. He's poison. And his words still haunt you. Who do you trust? Him? Or me? Do you still believe in me, Senua? In us? Come back to me. This darkness come between us. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. He gave her the sword with which to fight in more ways than one. She gave him her word, never to surrender. All she needed was a little help, a little hope. Okay, so I think maybe the part where she heard him accusing her was, like, her anxiety speaking. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that last uh, achievement said because I made a point of not looking at it. Well, I saw the word corpses, so I think it was something about escaping the corpses or something. But I'm trying really hard not to because I got spoiled twice. I think twice. Go away. At least once. No, yeah, twice. 
most recent one being the uh, pulling the sword out. Like for all I knew, it could have still failed. I will tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafner, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon. Yes. Indeed. What was the other stairway? You are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How would you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. Another one of these. The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. You know, something else is coming. Alert. I don't, I don't understand. This is exactly the same kind of thing as as the uh, as the hallway with the three runes. I'm just gonna die, and uh, that's just gonna be it. Stalks me from the shadows. I'm supposed to head towards the light. Stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. So go toward the light. Don't be 
food is still here. No, it's a trick. Mother, do you Don't fall for it. It's me, Senua. It's so loud. It's not her. Just so full of hate. It's a black I just want to help them. Tell me what to do. Your father wants them to go away. And he only hurts me to silence them. But he's gone now. But they always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They want me with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't listen Do you to them. see them? Do you see their faces? He's coming! Senor! Help me! Help! Get me out of here! Don't go! She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She, she took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father, Zinbel. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it? Uh, she could have passed the torch through the grate. Run, get through it as quick as you can. The panic is Well, I died for no reason earlier. Now that I... Anyway. Oh, reflection. Reflection. Where is it? Hidden in plain sight. She has it. You have it. That is one of them. Dillion. The door is just a 
another trail. Just another trick. Just to distract her from her own You think you know, but you don't. Thirsty. Oh. Rain the dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafner's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rain would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rain reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rain go in search of Fafner. Yeah, this is where I first came in. I'm assuming you have to keep going. Oh yeah, this is this was the entrance. Can we light it? Thank you. I'm not going to go underneath that again and risk it. Okay, yeah. Nothing.
Okay, this cube's going up. She has it. She did it. She's done it. Well done. This place, it reminds her of the isolating, suffocating darkness that she lived through as a young girl. Imprisoned in her room at night, the faces in the dark, covered through the walls. She once thought everyone could see them. I mean, that's what children say all the time, isn't it? There are monsters in the dark. By the time she realized that only she could see them, her father, Zinbel, could see the monster in her. Yes, clearly, monster. Such a sad misunderstanding. Anywhere without your light. Take the torch and move. Blood. She's lighting the torch. It's not gonna help her. She's lighting the torch. Thank you, you say you to keep the darkness. Do you think you can keep away from the shadows if you light the torch? That is the general idea, yeah, keeping away. I don't remember. I was only five. They told me she escaped the darkness. That she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? That would be unfortunate. Oh, yeah, I can jog. Stupid 
It's a trap. The beast is coming. Father's keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here. I'm going to find Dewey. We are sacrificing Oh, this game is so freaking creepy. I don't think the camera was supposed to do that. Okay. 
Um. What am I doing? Ah, that's how. That is how. trying to save her from the darkness. But she wouldn't listen. She never listened. And now everybody is dead because of her. All her fault. All her fault. <laughs> <laughs> she, she should have known. She should have known. Why doesn't she learn? She Where she learn? She doesn't understand. Now the darkness has Dillian's. And it will take it and never give it back. She can search and search, but she will never find it. She's let the darkness in. It's the end. The darkness will take her like it took her mother. She can't resist. Pointless even trying to retrieve it. She's lost. She's got to go deeper to find the head. Deeper towards the darkness. The beast is there. Beast. The dragon Fafner is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day, Fafner crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit on the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafner slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit and Fafner sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men, and every man would want to be wealthy until that day. And he takes the treasure. Yeah. I know that story. It doesn't go well for him.
There's no, there's no way. I mean, it's around here somewhere. Oh. It's right there. It's somewhere right there. But I'm gonna have to be careful. There are any more torches I need to light in order to any more braziers, any more anything. the symbol. Kinda. Or wait. I'm supposed to be making the symbol on the wall. Oh yeah, the shadows. I don't... I don't see any light on the other side. There's no light. I would need to... I think I need to get down the hall or something. And, uh... Relight the torch. Come back. Light... Something on that side, maybe? Yeah. And then it'll cast the shadow, or maybe just lighting the torch, and then that'll cast a shadow. And I can use that to uh, complete the rune. I think that's what's going on generally. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, I do need to end for today. I'm out of time. So we will take on that terrifying prospect next time. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.